Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, before I do begin, I just want to mention that following football every single week will mean that my voice will be pretty bad after the weekend, just as it is today. It absolutely kills to talk. Please just bear with me. This will be a regular thing, but hopefully everything will be all okay by tomorrow. With that being said, today's video is on the Boeing 777X. As we know, it's been a hot topic of conversation among aviation enthusiasts for some time. Not just down to it being a new aircraft, but also thanks to it being a contender for the Project Sunrise by Qantas. The ambition to fly from Sydney to the likes of London without a single stop. However now, thanks to multiple reports which are believed to have originated at Leham News or the Air Current, we've learnt that further development on the Boeing 7778 has been put on hold. This is the type that would have been believed to ideally compete with the A350-1000 ULR for that all-important Project Sunrise. Boeing doesn't mention the 737 MAX as the reason behind the decision to adjust their overall development plans, but does say that focusing strictly on their 7779 variant for now would allow them in the future a better transition and entry into service for the 7778. Boeing, despite the adjustments, confirmed that they were still in talks with valued customer Qantas in regards to their Project Sunrise. As we know, an order announcement is actually set to be announced in the coming weeks, if not months. In March, I also informed you all on being told by pilots and employees of Qantas during a day out with the 747 that they had picked the A350. While I was definitely doubted and also mocked, it has become apparent that it's looking increasingly likely that the Dash 1000 ULR will indeed be selected for these long flights. But that doesn't actually rule out the 777X though, as an aircraft flying with Qantas. The Australian carrier has already come out and expressed their interest in potentially using the 777 on high capacity international services. The 777 offers customers more capacity over the 7778 while compromising on the range. Of course, range is something they need for Project Sunrise, but in the big scheme of things, capacity would also be good alongside the A350-1000 ULR doing these long-range services. Ultimately, the 777X has seen a host of issues hit in recent months, from the aftermath of the Boeing 737 MAX damaging its scheduled public unveiling, to now, as of August 2019, the GE9X issues, meaning the type won't fly again in 2019, rather 2020. While this date, as we know, can slip, what is encouraging is that the device which many believe to be the one that had failed in testing the folding wingtips or wings has looked to actually be performing ideally. So what exactly do these new developments mean for Project Sunrise and Boeing? Well, it would seem that a 7778 or even 7778 ULR was progressing before this announcement. Well, of course, we know the 7778 was meant for a 2022 release. However, with all that now being put on hold, it does beg the question as to not only would it be ready by 2022 for Qantas and Project Sunrise, which is doubtful, but also whether Boeing would actually announce a 7778 order in, say, October after just delaying the production slash development of the type. Ultimately, Boeing is said to now be eyeing a 2023 or even later entry into service for the 7778, which is frankly going solely off what Qantas executives have said is far too late for Project Sunrise. For specifically Project Sunrise, while I just mentioned delivery dates, it means that the A350-1000 ULR may have an uncontested path for Qantas, being the only aircraft truly capable of performing what the airline wants at the time it wants. An actual announcement though on the A350-1000 ULR as an aircraft is expected soon according to a few people, but there's nothing actually firm on that front and the source can be labelled as questionable, but I'm only mentioning it now because it's kind of all slotting into place for Qantas and the A350. I'd be very interested to hear your take down below. Is delaying the 7778 production slash development a good decision or should they continue to focus on developing multiple new variants? Let me know down in the comment section below and as always, thank you.